Hey gorgeous, welcome to my channel Soil and Margaritas. My name is Roxana and I garden in central Indiana in zone 5. I am going to give you an update on my honeysuckle or how it's looking right now after a huge, huge pruning early in the spring. I came and I cut about two thirds of the plant of the huge, huge plant. And I wasn't sure if it was going to help it or kill it, but I'm going to show you in a minute. But before I do that, I'm going to give you a little bit of a history of how long it has been there, what kind of fertilizer, if a fertilizer at all I use, and all of that good stuff. Let me, can you guys hear all of the birds? It is super early in the morning and I love this time of of the day here in the garden. Let me start by talking about the trellis where I have the honeysuckle growing. And I'm looking that way because that's where the honeysuckle is. The trellises that I have on that wall were installed in 2019. I purchased two of those trellises through Amazon and I really, really love how they're doing. Like I say, they have been there since 2019 and I have not had any problems whatsoever with that trellis. I really like the shape of them, the diamond shape and the fact that they're metal. They're not uh, rusting, they're not looking, they're not leaving any stains on the wall, on that garage wall. That is always a plus for me. So when I put the trellis there, I, re I originally had a clematis a madame maria clematis it was a white double bloom that i really really love however the first year through 2019 having two plants of those clematis is there i realized that these were the wrong plants for that wall not only they were really kind of small but also as soon as the clematis were done blooming the foliage just died and i really did not want to look at dead plants through the rest of the year in that year, 2019, I also found a clearance plant for $5. This gorgeous, gorgeous honeysuckle. And at the time, I really did not have a good tag for that clearance plant. All it said was honeysuckle, $5 clearance plant. So I purchased it, not knowing how big, what color, if it was going to be huge, if it was going to be small, I did not I did not know anything about it. And I was a little bit hesitant because I know that some honeysuckles, there are some species that are that are invasive in some areas. So I brought that plant home in 2019 and I put it on another wall. Clearly through 2019, I noticed that that plant was going to get big because it grew and it grew. So when 2020 came, I moved those plants. I moved my clematis to the smaller wall and I moved my one honeysuckle plant on that trellis. And it has been growing amazing. The blooms that it gives me early in the spring are just, and the fragrance is also amazing. If you have ever experienced the smell of a honeysuckle, you know what I'm talking about. The two boxwoods that I have on each side of that trellis, I added those a couple of years later and they just look amazing with everything together. Up until this point, until 2022, I really did not have any problems whatsoever with honeysuckle. Nothing really seemed to bother them. I did, however, had three other honeysuckles, different kind, on another side of my garden where the last couple of years in the spring they show a little bit of aphid signs. Nothing major, nothing that a little bit of hosing couldn't fix and that was it. But this honeysuckle specifically that I have here on the, in front of the garage did not get bothered by anything until 2023. This year, the aphids came. They came early and they came strong. Unfortunately, by the time that I realized that this plant was infected, it was too late. Every single corner of this plant was covered with aphids and they were leaving all of this little sticky substance around and it was just devastating. The plant was full of blooms, the plant was covered in blooms but it was also covering that residue that the aphids leave and it was just a disaster. I knew that I was not going to have any blooms and that's pretty much what happened. Most of the blooms just did not open. They could not open because all of the pests covering everything. And it was really, really sad. Um, I honestly never had to deal with aphids like this. Like I say, the only two times that I dealt with aphids were those two springs with the other honeysuckles. And it was 
a few here and there, nothing that I, that I couldn't fix with just using my hose, but, but this time I was out of my league. And because it was already too late, I decided not to do anything. I wasn't going to be spraying anything. I knew that it, I knew that it was already too late for me to try to save the blooms. So I used Let It Be. Um, the aphids left. They did what they needed to do, they left. Thankfully, nothing else around my garden seemed to be bothered by them. So what I decided to do, because one, the aphids make the plant look horrible, and two, I last year I decided not to prune my honeysuckle. So the plant was just enormous. So I decided to give it a nice prune to cut all of the dead, to cut all of the stuff that was just looking horrendous, and I pruned it hard. After the aphids left in 2023, which was June, July-ish, I came and I just trimmed everything all the way. I came and I cut about two thirds of the plant and I was a little bit frightened because I wasn't sure if the plant was going to recuperate. Um, but if it did, I knew they would come stronger and healthier. And that's pretty much what happened. The plant is just growing and growing and already in this season is, is transpassing the height of that trellis that I have there on the garage wall and I love it. This year, definitely, definitely once I have removed the dahlias and once I have removed some of the dead material from my perennials there, I'm going to be coming and I am going to be giving it a nice prune on the top so that it keeps that diamond shape. I definitely want to do something like that this year. And I am really, really happy with how the plant is responding. I'm glad that I did not kill it because it was going to be hard for me to find another beautiful vine that it will give me nice blooms in the spring, but it will also keep this green foliage for the rest of the year. And I love, love this, this honeysuckle. Some of you have told me in past videos that this honeysuckle is this Kinsley, Kinsley, I'm not really sure how to say it, but I'm going to put it on the screen. And I really think that that's the variety that it is. If that's the case, it is not invasive, which makes me happy. But if you're thinking about getting a honeysuckle, do your research first in which types you should have so it doesn't just take over your garden. Now I have had some questions about people asking me, what is the maintenance of this honeysuckle? Other than pruning after it blooms, what do you do to it? And honestly, I have to say that I do nothing to it. Maybe once in the spring, whenever I am giving my, my bags with a little bit of fertilizer, which is a regular plant tone from Spoma or whatever I can find locally. I give it a couple of handfuls of fertilizer and that's really all I do to it. I really like this plant because it doesn't really require much from me. Well, up until this year. And other than pruning and giving it a little bit of fertilizer in the spring, that's really all I do. Now, aphids is not something that I am very familiar with. I don't really have a lot of experience fighting aphids. Uh, but I definitely have it in my mind that next year, early in the spring, I am going to be doing some sort of spray for aphids. I have to check, I have to do a lot of research on what to use because I really don't want to use anything that will harm a lot of the pollinators. So I have to do my research on that. But if you have problems with aphids in your garden and this is something that you battle year after year, please give me some recommendations on what you use and how you use it and what has worked for you. I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of hosing if I spot anything early on, but if it gets if it starts getting out of control, then I'm definitely gonna have to use something better because I love the honeysuckle and I am not willing to lose the blooms again. Thank you for being here, you guys, and until the next time.